Welcome to the East London Line project, the cornerstone of the Transport for London five-year investment programme. This project will act as a catalyst for significant regeneration and will offer congestion relief to existing central stations. The project will be delivered in two phases. Phase one will extend existing services north to Dalston Junction and south to New Cross, Crystal Palace and West Croydon. At Dalston, the former station of Dalston Junction will be reinstated. Opportunities for a bus interchange and further development above this station are under consideration. Above the Kingsland Viaduct, stations at Haggerston and Hoxton will be built on top of the viaduct, negating the need to take additional land. Each station will be fully compliant and has been designed to be similar in look and feel to those in service on the Docklands Light Railway. Significant enabling works will be completed along the Kingsland Viaduct before June 2006. 21 bridges will be replaced or refurbished and the viaduct will be waterproofed. As we approach the city, we leave the Kingsland Viaduct to the east. We travel over the Shoreditch High Street and enter the Bishopsgate Goods Yard. Shoreditch High Street Station will be constructed in the north of the Goods Yard and will replace the existing Shoreditch station that will close as it is on the wrong alignment. Crushed brick produced during demolition will be transported across Brick Lane using a temporary bridge and will be used to fill in the existing siding. The main works contractor will need to be mindful of residents at Weaver House and users of Spitalfield City Farm. Replacement of G19 will also require careful consideration. Entering the tunnel, we pass through Whitechapel and Shadwell. The graphics illustrate how an existing London Underground station could be rebranded in the future. This station is representative of most along the existing line. You will note that a vent shaft to ground level exists at one end of the platforms that was originally designed to allow smoke to escape from the tunnel when served by steam locomotion. Wapping and Rotherhithe will both be included in the scheme. An emergency secondary means of escape will be constructed within the ventilation shaft at each location. At Canada Water, we have a Hitchcock moment when the producer of the film is seen appearing in his own production. Having returned to the air, we fly over Surrey Quays Station, pausing above the Silwood Triangle, one route branches off to New Cross, the others continue south towards West Croydon. The Phase 2 Western extension to Clapham Junction is also shown. At New Cross Gate, a great separated junction and stabling facility will need to be constructed. Travelling south along the existing network rail infrastructure, we pass through Brockley, Honor Road Park, Forest Hill, and Sydney. before branching off to Crystal Palace where it is hoped to reinstate the Grade 2 listed ticket office. the home of the National Sports Centre, former platforms will be reinstated. 
lift access will also be provided to all East London Line platforms. Returning to the West Croydon route, we pass through Penge West, Annerley, Norwood Junction, and finally branch off to West Croydon. Turn back facilities will be constructed at this multimodal interchange. In phase two, depicted in blue on the graphic, services will be further extended in the north along the North London line to Highbury and Dislington. In the south, below Surrey Quays, a western branch will be extended round to Clapham Junction. This will allow cross-platform links to the West London line and facilitate orbital journeys around London. Additionally, a new station at Surrey Canal Road will be constructed.